Add mystery and drama to your photo or scrapbook page by adding wisps of fog with the use of the clouds filter. Hi, this is Karen Schultz from Digital Scrapper, the very best place on the web to find complete and professional instruction for digital scrapbooking. We help you get your stories told. This video is being filmed in Photoshop Elements, but the instructions are exactly the same for Adobe Photoshop except were noted. Begin in expert mode by opening the photo that comes in the download. Press the letter D to reset the color chips to the default of black over white. In the Layers panel, click on the Create a New Layer icon. In the Layers panel, double-click directly on the name of the blank layer and rename it Fog. Press Enter, Return to commit the change. In the menu bar, choose Filter, Render, Clouds. In the Layers panel, change the blend mode of the fog layer to Screen. Press Ctrl minus Mac users command minus three times to zoom out from the image. Get the Move tool. In the Tool options, uncheck Auto Select Layer, but check Show Bounding Box. Photoshop users check Show Transform Controls. On the document, click and drag from a corner handle of the bounding box to change the size of the fog layer. If you can't see the bounding box, press Ctrl-0, Mac users Command-0. Click and drag inside the bounding box to reposition the fog as desired. Once you're happy with it, click the check mark to commit. Ctrl-plus, Mac users Command-plus two times to zoom in on the image. In the Layers panel, click on the Add Layer Mask icon. The foreground color chip should be black. If it's not, press the letter X. Get the Brush Tool. In the Tool Options, open the Brush Picker. In the drop-down menu, choose Default Brushes. Choose a soft, round brush. It doesn't matter what size, because we're going to set the size to 1000. Set the opacity to 50%. The mode should be normal. Click on Brush Settings. Set the fade, the hue jitter, and the scatter to zero, the spacing to 25, the hardness to zero, the roundness to 100. Adobe Photoshop users, please check the manual for the settings. On the document, click and drag where you would like to remove the fog. And I'm going to remove it right about here. Leave a little wisp right there. Now let's add an additional fog layer. In the Layers panel, press Ctrl J, Mac users Command J, to create a duplicate fog layer. Again, we're going to press Ctrl minus, Mac users Command minus three times to zoom out from the image. Get the Move tool. And again, we're going to drag from a corner handle of the fog layer to make that layer either smaller or larger and click inside the bounding box to move it. When you're happy with it, click the check mark to commit. Press Ctrl plus, Mac users Command plus to enlarge the image. In the Layers panel, click on the layer mask of the duplicated fog layer to make sure it's active. The foreground color should be black. If it's not, press the letter X. Get the brush tool settings noted in step three and click and drag if you would like to remove or replace any of the fog. I again, I'm going to remove a little bit right here. And I might remove a little bit there. If you would like to add more fog, press the letter X to change the foreground color to white, and you can paint that back in. I think I'll paint a little bit more back in right there. Once you're happy with your fog, we're ready to press Control A, Mac users Command A to select the entire document. In the menu bar, choose Image Crop. Press Ctrl D, Mac users Command D to deselect. And now we can save the photo as a high quality JPEG with the unique name 
for the use in a scrapbook page. We will also want to save it as a layered PSD file with a unique name in case we want to adjust the fog later. Here's what my page looks like after I added a title and some journaling. If you'd like to learn more about Photoshop Elements or Adobe Photoshop or would like to fill in the gaps of your learning, check out Quick Learn by Linda Satgast. You'll find a link to this class as well as a coupon code in the manual that accompanies this video. So that's how you use the clouds filter to add drama and mystery to your photos or scrapbook pages. This has been Karen Schultz for Digital Scrapper.